What's up, y'all? Kyle here. You're watching Driving and Vibing, coming to you again from the California RV Show here in Fontana, California, showing you all the coolest RVs. And this one really caught my eye. It's the Intex Soul. Stay tuned for details. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I am very excited to show you the features of this lightweight small trailer that has a huge inside. But before we get into that, let me give a big shout out and thanks to RV Life and RV Trip Wizard for making this video series possible. RV Trip Wizard is great for routing your RV trip. You can avoid all the low hanging overpasses and really craft a trip to your specific travel style. And then the RV Life app allows you to use your phone as an RV safe GPS system right inside of your RV when you're driving. So check both of those out. I'll drop links below. But today's video, we're talking all about this Intex Soul. The first thing that caught my attention is this amazing, amazing front window. It is the biggest front window I've ever seen, even bigger than ours in our Airstream. Let's take a look around. guys before we really begin the tour i want to read off some of the at a glance specs i got numbers going all through my head this week with all these rvs so i'm going to use a little cheat sheet so the interior height is six and a half feet the interior length is 15 feet nine inches and the width is six feet ten inches on the interior the exterior height is going to come in at nine feet six inches which is still pretty low, got, it'll keep you pretty accessible to anywhere you wanna go. The length is 19 feet on the exterior and the exterior width is eight feet, six inches. As far as the gray and black tank goes, it's a combo tank with 30 gallons. The fresh water holds 28 gallons and the weight of this unit is right around 3,400 pounds. And that gives you about five or 600 pounds of added weight for whatever you wanna carry along. So really good specs if you want something small and lightweight. So here on the business side of the RV, we got a pretty good storage compartment over here. Uh, not very common to have in one of these smaller trailers to have a light, nice exterior storage space. So that's pretty nice. And we got the water heater, the 30 amp hookup, cable outlet, the water hookup, pretty standard, you know, as far as the business side goes, with the exception of that storage compartment. I really haven't seen a storage compartment that big in a trailer this small that has exterior access to it. So that's a pretty cool feature. Let's walk around to the fun side now. All right, y'all, so now we're on the fun side of the RV and they have a lot of cool outdoor amenities here. The biggest one that stands out to me is this slide out compartment that holds an outdoor cooking area and a Dometic cooler where you can cool or freeze things and have outside access to that. There's also a hose on the outside exterior, pretty cool. And let's not forget this awning. It's a nice lightweight awning, sets up with legs in the front, pretty good to protect you from the shade. I could use it today out here in the California sun. One of the things I wanna to touch on is that this frame is aluminum constructed. So it's all welded aluminum, which makes it a little more lightweight. The front aluminum tongue looks super beefy. I really like the way it looks, but there's also aluminum structures that support the whole unit itself. So it's built of high quality welded aluminum, not bolted together. Cool feature, even though we can't see it, we can admire it from afar.
All right, guys, so now the inside is where it all starts to get much more fun. There is a beautiful U-shaped dinette up here with a table that is easy to access the U-shape, but still it swivels for easier access. And let's not forget, this is the beautiful window. In our Airstream, we love the wraparound windows, but there are still obstructions in the way as far as where the frame comes down and meets those three separate window panes. This, on the other hand, is one huge solid window, and it is absolutely beautiful. It's my favorite feature of the whole rig. So just, uh, it would be, I can only imagine boondocking out in the middle of beautiful spaces and being able to wake up to this every morning. On the outside, it's tinted and you can't see in, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Don't even need blinds or shades here. Although there is one if you want that extra protection from the sun or just privacy. The Intech designers uh, really tried to make this thing modern and I can appreciate that. It has a lot of similar materials as the Airstream and similar colors and I am a sucker for those things. You can see the wood grain up here. It's a nice kind of a gray. Oh, I didn't even realize how my glasses on. It's a nice uh, grayish wood tone, but the blue light accents that light up all the cabinets is what I really enjoy. You got cabinets up here for extra storage and a lot of inset lighting to really set the mood. So at nighttime, you're not going to be bombarded with heavy lighting. You can keep it all in these undermounted light areas. And I think that's great for the vibe of the RV. There is a Dometic fridge up front here, a CD player with stereo system. You got the command control that will show you the water tank. Also, like most RVs these days that know what's going on, it has USB ports all over the place and residential style electrical hookups. Microwave, not to be forgot about. It's up here hiding up above the fridge. That kind of makes up the fridge part of the kitchen and the dinette. You can make this into a bed, but what I love is that even though this is a short trailer, we have the U-shaped dinette and a bed in the back. I do not like having to convert a bed in a dinette day after day if you're traveling full time. So this gives you the space you need to work and eat and also sleep. So I was talking about the um, design aesthetics as far as the Airstream similarities go. And this is what really catches my eye. The beautiful white gloss like walls that lead into the bathroom and this really nice kitchen area. It's got a two burner stove made by Dometic that you can put down and have as a working space or lift up and use as a cooktop. As well, the sink has a cage kind of that goes over it to use it as a drying rack or as just an extra countertop. You got a high faucet here that can extend. This is one of the things that we made sure we had in our Airstream when we renovated it, was a deep sink with a movable nozzle. That makes cleaning dishes so much easier. I love that it has these amenities in it. Lots of drawers here. You know, typical storage space, got a compartment underneath here where you can stick a trash can or something. And again, more of these high gloss cabinets with the undermounted lighting, shaded blue, keeping all the vibes just right. All right, y'all, so now this is the bed. It looks kind of like a small queen, but bigger than a twin, so not a bad size bed. And it has a window right behind it, so you feel like it's more spacious. I really like that. You got windows actually on this side too, by where your head would lay, and a 15-inch TV with speakers, so you can hear it easily, and more of the storage compartments with the blue lighting. You got the storage back here as well made with that high gloss material, keeping the look of it very modern. The one thing I don't like about this though is that these don't stay open. They're gonna fall down, so they'll close softly, which is good, but it'd be much better in my opinion if those stayed up. But either way, tons of storage space back here. So overall, the bedroom area is pretty nice, and you even have the USB ports in the back with places to put cups, so whoever's sleeping on the inside can still have access to electricity and somewhere to sit their cup. 
All right, so this is the shower area. It is a wet bath, but as you can see, I'm standing up in it. I still have headroom. There's a nice skylight here with a fan to move all the wet air out if you're using the shower. With all that said, personally, I don't like the combination of a wet bath, but if you're using a trailer of this size, that's really the only option you have, especially if you want this much space to shower. So the toilet is here and there is a lot of room on it to sit, spread your legs. The toilet paper is right across from it with a cover so it won't get wet when you're showering. Overall, it's a good shower design with a lot of space. My other critique is that um, some of the things like what turns the water on, on and off is, you know, typical RV quality. And I'm not a fan of RV quality things. It's not that it's low quality relative to the RV space, but it's just not residential quality. So I'm always appreciative when RVs step it up just a little bit on their knobs and handles and stuff like that. y'all so that is the Intech Soul a very cool option for a small travel trailer I can't say that Olivia me and Nora and River would go on the road in something like this you know even though we did it for a few years we demand a little more space but if you are a couple traveling or if you are a solo traveler and you want all the amenities of a regular RV in a compact travel trailer the Intech Soul is a great option that wraparound window is beautiful and the MSRP is somewhere around 36,000 bucks. That's gonna be at least $10,000 less than the Airstream Nest, which is a very comparable trailer. So you can get in the game much at a much lower cost with the Intech Soul. I appreciate that with the big window, the Dometic appliances, and just the cool interior vibe that it has. I'm very interested to know what you think about this Intech Soul though. Even though it's a small travel trailer with a separate dinette and bed, is it something that you could travel in? Thank you so much again to RV Life and RV Trip Wizard for making this video series possible. I'll drop all the links below to check those out, but I highly recommend your RV trip planning with RV Trip Wizard because it saves so much of the headache. Thank you all for tuning in. Check it out tomorrow for more of the coolest 2020 units out here at the California RV Show. Later on.